Wacha ni charipo ni ongea na Aisha kitoko. <laughs> ah, Aisha. Ah, hello, hello. Mama, hujambo? Sambamba. Ah, vipi hadi? Ah, msuri, msuri. Na ulipita wapi hapa na mimi zikukuona? Hmm. Mimi kawaida nitapita hapa hapa ni wapi pengine sasa. Sasa leo vile naona umefar red red. Nataka kukupeleka out. Yaani Kawangware, unipeleke mimi. Yeah. Kuna mahali Kawangware kuna restaurant. Wewe tangu siku hiyo nilianza kukufungulia roho yangu ni kupatia roho yangu. Wewe hauchakuswa mahali. Hey, jamani papa jamani jamani. Sasa wataka niguzwe namna gani? Mimi nafanya kazi na wewe bana. Excuse me. Mapenzi ya nini hapa kazini? Ah, tunaongea mambo ya kazi. Yaani unaniambia sina masikio? Huh? And you? Where is the financial report? It is getting late. It's in my office and it's ready. It is in your office? Yeah. I need it in my office now. Okay, boss. Na wewe will buffers? Yes, sir. Uchoki na mambo ya mapenzi? Hapana, kitu tu tulikuwa tunaongea hapa ni vile tunatakikana kama wafanyikazi tupendane. Wewe, una unaharibu nyasi. Nenda kafeke huko kwingine. Na no, ndiye mzasa uende ukate fedha. Ndio sasa unaona vile unafanya hapa pana parara. Oh. Yes, will be for. Yes, boy. I'm very happy you brought your family to come and see me. Eh, siku ile. That's the way it should be. Hata mimi nafurahi. <laughs> Unachoa posi tangu tukuche hapo kwako ma, kumekuwa na mapatiliko sana kwa nyumba yangu. Kwani hapo awali kulikuwa na shida gani? Unajua kuna wakati alikuja akapata ukonjo ya foot and mouth disease. Foot and mouth disease. Unajua sasa alikuwa mtoma aifungiki. And you call that foot and mouth disease. Posi hata daktari alisema iko foot and mouth disease ingine pia inakuanga kwa watu. Sasa kumwambia kitu kitoka na kuasika. Unaona mara moja amekimbia kwa tata yake. Do you know that is a cow's disease? Yeah, sasa hiyo ndio ilikuwa foot disease. Ta mama watoto siku hizi ananiita ani. Ani? Ananiita ani. Oh. <laughs> ani. Eh, hey, hiyo ani. Well, that is not news. Hata asubuhi leo nilitoka ananiambia ati ani. <laughs> Posi mimi nimekuwa na shida mingi sana na huyo mwanadada. Shida nini tena? Eh, hey, kubwa sana. Tumekuwa na shida kubwa. Hata ukiona vile nakuja hapa nimekaa na mwana hii ni kujikasa kisapuni tu. Anyway, unajua wewe shida yako ni kuwa umechukua mwanamke ukamweka kwa nyumba na anakaa tangia asubuhi mpaka jioni. Na kuna biashara umemfungulia? Ah, posi biashara nilivungua. Biashara nimefungua tayari already. You did that. Hata ndio tulikuwa tunaongea na yeye hata sababu ya hiyo mambo mapadiliko kwa nyumba tukasema wacha nikuche niongee na wewe tuone kama tunaweza kuwa na coalition kila weekend tunakucha. Kila weekend. Mm. Well, I don't know about that. Lakini hebu songa karibu nikupe mawaidha kidogo. Mm. Unajua yeye shida yako moja ni kuwa yeah. unachukua mwanamke unakuja naye kwangu mm. na amevaa suits za red. How do you do that your wife? Ai posi huyo sasa. Wacha nikwambie kitu moja. Will brota Nimecharipu nimetoa kila kitu ile alitoka nayo Kenya. Urisafu ndio imenishinda kutoa. Urisafu. <laughs> Ana urisafu mbaya sana. <laughs> well well I think uh, ukimnunulia nguo ambazo zinafaa hata mm. atakuja kwa sawa tu. Mm. Try to talk to her. Yeah. Unamvalisha nguo ambazo unamnunulia nguo ambazo zina zina zinafaa. Mm. Um, Niko na wageni natarajia wageni hapa kwa geti mm. usije kwa sumbua sasa. Eh yeah, yeah. uh, let, let me take this. Oh, ah yeah. Yes. Oh, ah yeah. Chris? Oh. <laughs> I'm okay. Opa chumanda so ni siku hizi hata toi kitu. Mota nakuja kukupatia shitore tu na hakuna kitu anakutolea. Maisha